Knives are cool. And axes too. Ah, it's starting to cool off from this hot, hot summer. And we're getting some cool weather, which is great. And so I can get out here and do more videos. And that hot summer, it was almost too hot. Today, I have a pocket knife for you that I think might be interesting. I hope, anyway, that you'll enjoy this. It's an okapi. Have you ever heard of an okapi knife? Um, I hope there's no Chinese copies of an okapi, but I doubt there will be. This is a South African brand knife, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. I put my notes here, and basically, it's, it's pretty cool. And I think it's pretty cool because it's from Africa, and there's a lot of information that goes along with it. A friend of mine gave me this knife, actually his son, and said, hey, this is for you. I've watched your channel, and maybe you could do a video on this. And I said, oh, yeah, because he started educating me on it more and more. And to me, it's all about the education. It's all about the learning. I love learning about knives. So without further ado, let me show you this a copy knife. And I'm going to put it out here. Zoom in on it if you will. And while you're zooming in there, um, I'll tell you a little bit about it. And then I'll open it up and tell you a little bit more. So it's O copy, O K A P I. And we're going to go ahead and open it up here. And I don't know if you can zoom in. The P looks really hard to read almost. It almost looks like it says O Kahi. <laughs> but that's not an H, that's a P. It takes its name from South African giraffe-like animal. And I don't know, I think we saw one of those at the zoo when we went here about a month ago. And Okapi is a weird looking animal from South Africa. These were produced in Germany. That's why this one says made in Germany for a while, but they're no longer made there because in 1988, a company named All Round Tooling bought the trademark. And so now they make them in South Africa, but this one's an older one because it's made in Germany. And it's pretty cool, but it's also been definitely used. It's definitely been used very, very well by somebody because it's been sharpened a lot. It's called a lockback knife, and it's supposed to be a ratcheting knife, but mine doesn't ratchet. That doesn't look like any sort of a ratchet in there. It just opens and closes, but that's how you lock it by pushing down here, it doesn't open. And it's a basic little South African pocket knife. Now, put it back on me. These are also called Saturday night special knives because so many people in South Africa carry these as their everyday carry that oftentimes criminals, this is the first thing that they'll get. And there've been a lot of crimes committed with an Okapi. And I find that very interesting. So it's been used many times in crimes in South Africa. It's uh, mostly made of 1055 carbon steel, it could be cherry wood, most likely that is cherry wood, and um, it kind of looks like cherry as you get it into the sun here. It has kind of that reddish color of cherry. So basically what I have here is the working man's knife. That's what they call it, the working class man's knife. So the everyday carry of South Africa. It's a South African pocket knife. So sold the company in 1988, and they're made over there now, no longer in Germany. So. You don't, might think it's cool, you might not, I don't know, but to me, the history is what's so amazing. How did this come to America from South Africa? It's made in Germany. It's, did they buy it in Germany and bring it to America? I don't know. It has a little thing here, so you can, I guess, put it onto a, um, your belt loop and hold onto it, and uh, it's just, I don't know, it's just cool. So I really appreciate you that gave this to me. You know who you are, thank you for it, and it has a lot of patina, so I'm thinking this is way older than the 80s. And if you look, come on in and zoom in on it, you can really see that patina starting to form there. So this is telling me that this is a pretty old knife. And when you look at it and see the patina on the blade as well, and then someone is sharp to where it's almost a, a, a little bit of a curve there. Uh, but it's a pretty neat knife. I like that it does that. Let me show you the action here, if you can zoom in on that, how it closes and opens. So this bar moves, and that bar is what you hold while you're cutting. It has a good feel to it, and it would be great for cutting things, but I also see how, put it back on me, how that could be somebody's self-defense knife or somebody who's a criminal using that kind of like a South African switchblade, you know, ba -dum, ba -dum. But uh, da -da, you know, Stella, or maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm confusing. No, that's a different, uh, yeah, I get those streetcar named Desire and that other movie mix it up. Uh, what's that one where they are in New York and they're fighting and stuff? But anyway, this is an Okapi, and it is not a copy of an Okapi, it is a genuine Okapi. Dad joke, okay. 
but I think it's cool and I wanted to do a video on it and I thank you that gave it to me. Now we're all a little bit wiser and we've learned a little bit more. So zoom in on that if you would. And uh, if you've got an Okapi, let me know. And if you have any more information about these, we would love to know as well. I just think it's a really cool pocket knife. I like the shape of the handle. I like the action. I like how it works. And boy, am I loving how sharp it is. Somebody put a lot of work into sharpening that blade. All right, we'll see you next time. Just remember to uh, come to my other channels, Robert Breaker channel for a sermon every week in English and Spanish, and also the new channel, Black Powder Muzzle Loader. And uh, we'll be putting out some more black powder muzzle loading things as well. God bless you, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Knives are cool, and axes too. Bullseye!